from the National Zoo. And I think what we're going to paint today are some elephants. We've got some Indian elephants over here, and hopefully they'll be uh, um, willing to pose for me. But just in case they aren't willing to pose, I will take some pictures and work from those. So stay with me. We're going to go ahead and paint. And uh, I hope some of you folks are able to join uh, in on the chat. I probably won't see the chat. Just know that, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for you. Okay, you can join my membership too on YouTube and follow along and have fun with us. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna just do that. Allow gifts, yes. Um, so anytime this kind of pops around, um, I'll know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up here. You're gonna see me paint. I'm gonna direct this so you can see my uh, we're going to move this in just a little bit so you'll be able to watch the canvas. I think you'd probably rather watch that than watch me. Um, so we'll do this. Hopefully we'll get a good shot here. There. Okay. And we'll be able to see what I'm doing. So the elephants have already moved off. Um, I actually took some pictures a little bit before um, so that they could... Uh, hang on. We're trying to work this over here a little bit. Work it over to this side. So um, I actually have some pictures taken, so I'll probably be working mainly from the pictures that I took. Um, that's what iPads are great for, right? Because uh, when you're doing plein air at the zoo, you're, it's, unless they're sleeping, it's really hard to know if they're gonna sit still long enough for me to paint them. And I've done this before at several uh, zoos. I know we've got some folks joining us. I see, I see two people on there. That's awesome. Thank you for joining us. Um, I, uh, but I painted at the Miami Zoo, uh, or Zoo Miami, um, a while back and actually did elephants there because they're big and they're, they, you know, they're, they're usually pretty easy to see. A lot of the animals when it gets too hot end up going where it's shady. And I was, obviously right now, um, it's the coolest part of the day. I got here as soon as the doors opened. So hoping to see as much animals. And I kind of walked around the zoo a little bit trying to find the right place to park. Um, Adrian, if you're listening, um, I'm here in front of Elephants. Uh, I was talking. Adrian is my contact here too. And um, so, yeah, we're here. We're painting it. So, we're going to, to paint some Indian elephants. So, we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and look through my picture see what. Um, hopefully, because right now they're kind of being silly. They're. Um, they One of them was in the actually in the water and had, had gotten down in there and just was kind of wallowing around and then decided it was a good time to go to the bathroom. So, you know. <laughs> that early morning type thing here. She had her coffee, you know, she's ready. Um, and I have some pictures and I'm gonna find one that I really want. They have, it looks like we've got one bull elephant and two cows in here. And the bull is quite impressive. He uh, has really nice tusks and I was hoping to get him, but he's, he's kinda, I think he's eating some hay right now. Let's see what I've got here. Okay, I've got a couple good ones of him. All right, we're gonna start painting. I'm gonna put this by here just so I'll have at least the reference, the shape of an elephant here by me. Now the colors that I put down on my palette, I have two, two titanium whites on here. I've got, um, um, let's see, Naples yellow, burnt Vienna, burnt umber. I have yellow ochre. I have uh, Michael Harding's, um, oh, is that um, yellow lake deep? I have titanium white, king's blue, um, and uh, ultramarine blue, ivory black, and the violet. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on one of the elephants. I've got to watch where I'm stepping here, and I want to stay out of people's way. Uh, since I am at a zoo today, I didn't want to use any solvents that were going to be particularly smelly or, um, you know, I just wanted to try to keep it as natural. So we're just using spike oil as my medium. And I'm going to do a very loose sketch and I'm going to go in with a number two Rosemary Eclipse Long Filbert. And I'm just going to do a kind of an outline of an elephant and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Structure of the 
uh, Indian elephant is a lot different than the African elephant. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get the big shapes. So we're going to try to get in and get out as quickly as we can today before it gets hot. And uh, now I think the elephants are really curious maybe about what I'm doing. I should probably bring you around to, to see what they're doing because it's kind of cool. They're just, she's watching. She probably realizes, hey, you like the French girls. Another interesting thing about elephants is they actually have four knees. <laughs> um, we're bringing that back up a little bit. And this is what's nice about just using a little bit of the um, spike oil. I can I can redirect my paint a little bit. So he's got these nice tusks. <laughs> This other arm is coming out this way. Three, one, two. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of folks here today. Oh, this is too. I don't want to stay out of everybody's way. I want everybody to be able to see what they want to see today. Okay. So I'm kind of a rough sketch here. And what I'm going to do is some of the dark. <laughs> I have to, y'all have to see this. Hang on. Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. Hang on. She's right here. <laughs> do you see her? <laughs> She's watching. Now, I'm actually painting the the uh, the bowl, but I think that's kind of neat that she's she's like I want to see what's going on. <laughs> so you know she's probably thinks hmm, spike oil it smells like lavender. It smells nice. So I want to take a little bit of. Um, I'm take a little ivory black and really kind of pop in some darker values, and I can always do a lot of corrections. Um, that's the, that's the big daddy over there. With my background. So even if I put all this dark in here, I can actually do a lot of the shape of the the um, ele elephant with the background color and make my corrections. So I've, you know, I'm already elongating the legs a little bit more. Oh, now they're both here watching. <laughs> both the elephants are actually, they're very curious animals. So I'm going to show you here. Now both the girls are here watching. They're, they're cramming their head right into the, let's see if I give you a little bit. <laughs> they're watching. Actually, wipe out some of this too. This tail back this way. We'll get the actual shapes in. There's some interesting light here too. And I can really see him over there now. He's a, they, they like to go to the bathroom in the pool. And I'm sure the pool is a nice refuge for, from heat. He's got a tusk on this side, so I've got to try to get all the. What? Parts in. What?
Come over here, we can see it. Come on this way. So I'm going to go ahead and get the brush. I'm going to pop in a little bit of background. And I'm just going to make it dark. I'm going to make it a dark green. I did not bring it. You know, it's funny, I had a tub of paints, but I didn't want to, I had to try to schluck everything here to the zoo, and I did not want to bring anything I had, and uh, it was just too much to carry. Um, so I left a lot of my colors, which, of course, you're always going to find the color that you need, the color that you didn't bring, because that's, you know, that's how it goes. Still have looking to see who's with us. I might have gotten this a little long. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Now I will give this piece will be a gift to the zoo. And um, now I, the substrate that I'm painting on is a gessoed, slick, super slick gessoed panel. So we're not really. Still trying to get the shapes here. Moving this around here. Oh, there's a little vocalization there. Okay, so I can always elongate my legs or fix my legs, but all right. So I'm just establishing the actual shape. So basically, I'm doing I'm painting the negative space, creating the elephant through the negative space. And so, I at this stage of any painting, I'm usually squinting a lot. Tell today it's 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 going to be a scorch here in uh, Washington D.C. with a high of I think 98. Yeah. So this is why I'm wanting to get in, get out as fast as I can. Thanks for the thumbs up. Whoever gave me the thumbs up, I appreciate that. Okay. I actually have had something that ha happened to me yesterday that's never happened before, and it was kind of neat. I had a one of my friends. Um, a nice lady um, that was in Alabama um, called me on the phone and asked if I had DVDs available. And I said, wow, I don't have DVDs. I hope you're joining me if you're watching because I talked to her and told her I would be on live. All right, so I kind of just did that rough shape. And I know the eggs are, the legs are a little wonky. I'm not really certain yet how to, 
to approach that, but I'm going to go in with, um, start mixing some elephant colors. And the elephant, obviously we know that they're gray, but it's kind of a yellowy gray. And so I did put a lot of yellows down. I'm going to take ochre and raw umber. And I'm mixing a little king's blue and some ivory black. Interesting, right? Ivory black, we're painting elephants. So, it is kind of yellowy black. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lighten it up just a little bit. So, now is when I do a little bit more deliberate strokes here. this point, lighten it up. I'm going to use a little Naples yellow. It's got that opacity that I need, but I also need a little bit of warmth. I want even more warmth. So I'll end up having several different values of grays on my palette. So, you know, along your spine, you know, you're kind of conscious of the anatomy of this elephant is. And the Indian elephant does have a distinct different anatomy than the African elephant. The back, the structure is completely different. And I'm going to warm it up even more with a little bit more yellowy whites up here. Okay, so I'm going to elongate his head out this way a little bit more. Raise that up just a tiny bit. Right? So I keep just following the contours of this elephant's head. And then it actually, from, let's see. Got that a little steep here. It kind of goes straight here, and then it... hear a squirrel barking. Now, when I was at the Miami Zoo, I had a lot of squirrel visitors. They are very interested in what I was doing. Now I'm going to do something. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to actually wipe out some of this area so that I can get the tusks in. So the tusks are going to be about So I can actually take the paint off with my brush. So what you see here is me taking or removing paint. Okay. And he's got another tusk on the other side directly. There's trunks in the way so you can't see. And when you're doing plein air, as any plein air artist knows, you deal with the sun, you deal with the bugs. You have a lot of different elements to deal with. There seems to be a little bit of a burnt sienna color mixed into the gray in the trunk area. So I'm mixing just a little bit of burnt sienna in here. So when you're painting on a, a super slick surface like this, you know, at first you can see that there's there's, the paint slides around a little bit on this. So, thank you for the thumbs up. I 
again, I guarantee one of the people watching is probably my son, Matthew. He usually is the, my guy who uh, does all my um, live streaming for me. And since this is, I'm kind of doing this, I'm winging it here. <laughs> and then you have the cicadas. We have cicadas in Tennessee too, and I can hear the cicadas. The, the um, Indian elephant has much smaller ears than the African elephant. And there's some pink on them. There's some really pretty pink on them, and I'll have to create that color. I know I have it in here someplace. I just didn't put any down. But I know that year, this is this. I, I'm going to write about it here. I'm going to wipe off. Elephants are so amazing. Social, intelligent. What I'm doing is I'm taking off the paint and I'm trying to create the folds of the ear. It's got these interesting folds and I'll have to get those in later. I'm actually taking paint off. I know that that's where the ears are going. So what I'll do is I'll start putting in more of the darker values. The tongue wrapped all the way around here. I'm going to add a little bit more burnt sienna to that. Yeah, it's already heating up, guys. And I'm still using a pretty, it's, you know, for the type size canvas, which is 9 by 12, or the substrate that I'm painting on is a 9 by 12 panel. Um, I am using kind of big brushes. Again, I wanted to try to do this as quickly as I could today. And um, so using large brushes helps with that. Try to get some of this. Now I always keep uh, my towels right next to me, and I wipe a lot. So when you see my hand kind of on the side, I am actually wiping my brush off, bringing this arm out a little bit here. And I'm always looking for large shapes. It sounds funny to say that when you're talking about an elephant. I guess everything's a large shape, but. I think there's a little bit of a muscle here, and I'm pulling that down a little bit. And he is a bull. He's probably a little bit more muscular than, than the lady. It's a little bit darker down here. Up. He's oh he's posing perfectly right now. First in the sun over here. And I'm watching him. I smell sunscreen. Something else I forgot to bring. I was supposed I brought my I was going to bring my big hat. I usually I do hair really large. Like, 
I need that to be a little bit darker or something going in. Oh, no. oh, that breeze feels so nice. So I sometimes work on the negative space as well as the uh, positive space at the same time. So I'm going to go in here and make a little bit of, you know, that interesting green that we made here. I'm going to get in here and really cut this in a little bit because I can always do corrections on my structure this way. So, interesting, you know, you look at the radar and they're almost all level at the same place. Which okay, I'm working my brush off, going back in with my gray here. looking for big shapes. Get legs in here, folks. Oh, and we're going darker on this side. So I've already mixed my uh, values on my palette. I need to. Uh, one of my patients, folks, um, Kraus. He is with the, uh, he's all about elephants. And I've painted elephants many times before. And I actually painted one um, for my Patreon channel. Um, mainly because Krauss wanted one. Richard Krauss. Okay, we're lightening it up now. Coming down a little bit lighter. And every time I do this, I always end up going a little bit, I start pulling the body out a little bit more. So it's a lot more yellow or burnt skin. -y. Fix that because I've got that one leg too fat. So we'll figure that out here in a minute. I always cut it out. So let's see if it's on this side. So I'm going in with this uh, kind of green, dark green that I've made using King um, 
So Yellow Lake Deep and Ultramarine Blue. <clears throat> I may widen this out a little bit more. This is a little weird. Sometimes it's a little give and take on either side because this leg is still really long. This is, I don't, I obviously didn't do any sketching. I just took some pictures and um, jumped in. Warm that up a little bit. Yeah, go for it, Sienna. They're moving, the elephants are kind of moving out towards the other side, so I'm glad I got my pictures, because that's, that's kind of the thing that happens when you're at the zoo. All right. Oh, now look at here. He's right here. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He knows he's being painted, I think. Hello there, mister. This is all. He's like, his eyes are watering. Okay. I feel like the shape of the elephant's looking pretty good at this point. So I'm just going to start filling everything in. And working from the darkest values first. So I'm going to take a little bit of the umber, ivory black, and ultramarine blue. You know, I'm going to add it to it to be a little bit of a warmer, warmer dark value. light area. This is, now that I look at it, it actually goes down here. It's not cutting the brain. It's actually his under part of his butt, his belly, which makes more sense now. So with this difference in value, and I've got these two values too close, <clears throat> something's got to change. So I'm going to actually go under this, under his belly with ivory black. 
and make this even more dark than the background color. It's funny when you blow up your pictures what you actually catch. So this goes in here. So do you like to look? Yeah? Well that's good. You got that's a good place that's a good place to start. I did lots of coloring too when I was little. <laughs> you watch him? Watch, he's gonna get big, he's gonna get in the bathtub. All right, so I'm kind of laying in some more of the mass. So a lot of my brush are going to head in the direction that the, the muscle is going. So you can see I, I go in with a more circular. I see an awfully dark area here. This is up behind me. So this is fine cut in. See how I'm rolling this over the edge where this shadow is. There's actually a little wrinkle behind his elbow. Thank you. No, no, you can catch me on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Suzanne Barrett Justice. I didn't even think to bring cards today. So I'm just here. I actually did this to the zoo. This the zoo and um, as a member of the artist for conservation I try to bring awareness to different wildlife species through uh, my art and um, education and so that I do work with zoos all over the country and this well they can whether they want to make this uh, a print available they can sell it that's on them they can do that so they can use this for their conservation efforts and fundraising efforts if they want to. I've, I've painted at the Zoo Miami. Um, I've painted, um, yes, Tampa Zoo. I did a live event for their, um, it was a couple years back, I did the manatees. They had their, what did they call it? Um, yeah, it's their, it was their big fundraiser. And I was li I was painting live and then they had the, they had an auction. And, uh, and I was so happy that it, you know, it sold in the live auction for a good price. And I was like, okay, cause it's all to help the, um, at that, well, it, what it, what that one, that fundraiser was for their um, Manatee Hospital. Yeah, so it was good to be able to be a part of that and uh, know that the, that it was going to help you know the manatees so you know they were very specific at that particular one this last uh, fundraiser I donated a painting of flamingos so um, so yeah I have are you from Florida and we're originally from Pennsylvania okay but we've been down here for like seven years well we've been in Florida for like seven years my sister lives here okay what part of Florida did you did you live we're in Lakeland which is between Orlando and Tampa right Right. Uh, my dad and my stepmom used to live in Clearwater Beach. Oh, okay. That's not far from where I am. Yeah. That's, that was where, uh, you know, I was used to Pier 60, you know, going down yeah, to Pier 60. And, right. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, I love Florida. I haven't been back since my folks died, but um, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, it's hot everywhere right now. It is hot everywhere. It's like you're bringing the heat up. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're home for so nice. Yeah, well... Of course, I, I'm from uh, Kingsport, Tennessee, oh, okay. and um, you know I drove up and I kept watching the weather, thinking I've got to get in and get out fast this because I don't yeah. want to be here when it's hot. No. 
and um, the animals don't want to be here when it's hot either. Right. And so they become less and less available for painting. We just saw the panda have a birthday or her birthday cake. Oh really? Yeah. I was it a nice ice, ice and fruit kind of thing? Yeah, she's 24 today. So oh wow. Wow. Yeah, I thought about that. I thought, yeah, I, I uh, actually did some work with the Chapultepec Zoo in Mexico, oh, and really? what was interesting is they actually own their pandas. Oh. See, there, any of the pandas that you know that are are on loan from mm -hmm. China, um, but this was back before. Like, I don't think it was as big a deal, and all their pandas now are too old to reproduce. And now they're they're all dying out. Uh, and now it's going to be very easy. When they lose their pandas, it's going to be a big deal because getting new pandas is not right, easy not anymore. Easy. But um, yeah, that's it's kind of an interesting concept of having them having them on loan. Right. Yeah. I can't believe how big his tusks are. Yeah. I did a the, one of the paintings of the elephants that I did for Zoo Miami mm -hmm. is they have the largest Indian elephant named a Dollop. His name is Dollop. Oh. And, and he's kind of like their big baby. You know, yeah. that's who they, that's, that was the one that they wanted me to paint. Oh. And uh, usually I'll ask the zoos which species or what animal they want me to paint because right. they get the painting. And this time I, the gentleman that um, drew was the person, he's out of town. So I've been dealing with oh. um, another person, Adrian, and she's been wonderful, but they couldn't really get an answer. Right. And I was like, well, I'll just come in and paint. And yeah. I'll give you the painting and you guys can decide what you want to do with it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? You should, if you if you like to see this kind of thing, and you yeah. should let the zoo know, let the staff know that, you know, you enjoyed this and, yeah. and that you would, if you were able to buy a print at the gift shop, we can make that happen. Okay. So, um, yeah. and, if, and, uh, and FYI, if you go to my website, I have a, um, a website. I do have prints available of um, different wildlife species, including, uh, okay. I think there's one of an elephant in there. Uh, it's an African Hello. elephant. And what is your name? Suzanne Barrett Justice, and it's J-U-S-T-I-S. -S. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about bringing cards. I have a whole bunch of them, and I didn't even bring my purse purse. I always, I have my, just my, my, my what I call one of my big purse. I just no. <laughs> schlepping things. Right, you know? right. Yeah. I'm going to take a, a work phone call. I'm going to take a work phone call. He's working from home today. Oh. You'll make it up. I said, technically, so am I. But. Oh. Oh, you're 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 supposed to be working. Yeah. <laughs> well, just so you know, this is being uh, videotaped uh, live. It's going to be uh, it's live on YouTube. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to know that we're boss, having this conversation. My boss wouldn't even care. He's at some. I work with fish biologists. Oh, interesting. I actually yeah. one of my students worked for the Audubon Society, tagging game fish. Oh yeah. That's mm -hmm. what she did, and I thought that's yeah. kind of an unusual thing. And you're the next, yeah. the only other theology type person that I've met. And they're at some big um, show this week. They're doing, checking out all the new poles and all the new gear. So what is it that you do? I'm the staff assistant. Okay. So they don't need me that much. So they're all do, yeah. So they're all out playing with I'll all the new work. toys. Yeah, I'll do work this afternoon. And then my boss usually checks in around six, which is when I'm off work. So it works out. Yeah, you're good. You can be at the zoo. But you can be at the zoo today. Yeah. I've actually been... Just tell them you're doing research. You, you're um, <laughs> checking out. <laughs> I saw a little pond that had pollywogs in it just a while ago. <laughs> and, uh, I've that? actually been with them. They had them. Did he tell you the process for that? Uh, sh it, uh, it's my friend she, Shelley. She. And um, no, she. I don't know that she did. I just know that you know her she background, I think, is marine biology. Mm -hmm. and uh, More freshwater fish. Right. But it, they go out on a boat that has all these electric chemicals going down. Interesting. And they check the water pressure and depth and density and stuff. And then they put just enough shock in those St chemicals. Stun them? Stun them. Oh, and I'm they fine. come up and you grab them and put them in the boat, in the, the net in the boat. 
there's a tub in the boat and then they take them out and weigh them and tag them and put them back in and then inside the boat they come right back you know they have enough time to do what they have to do and then they just come back i guess that is something that you know they, they develop and mm -hmm. figure out that this is how it's going to work yeah that's the only way interesting they have so much time to get that tag on see now the folks on uh that are watching on on uh Actually yeah, it. it's really, oh. that's what I was saying. You're live. Oh. This conversation's live. Oh, I'm sorry. And no, no, it's this is this is what makes it interesting. Otherwise, it just. I thought you were teasing. <laughs> no, I'm, it's it's live. It's live on YouTube as we speak. Oh, great! Well, so if you go on later, you just yeah. or go on while I'm here. Right. You just see. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it will be. Um, <laughs> the interesting thing is, uh, yeah, it's live, but then it becomes a video. Mm -hmm. You can go back and I hear see, this conversation right. as many times <laughs> as you'd like. Well, good. I'll Show it to everybody at learns. Yeah, that's right. This is and yeah. There you go. When I was supposed to be um, working in the office. Yeah. yeah, but that's neat though. I, it's it, it's funny. I've never talked to somebody else that did or knows yeah. about what my friend does, and um, and she doesn't do it anymore. She's her husband is a he's also a, he's a YouTube person and is mm -hmm. a, an amazing night maker. I don't know what else. he's a, a bladesmith that's what oh. you call it and their whole family's involved with this business and so Shelly is very busy managing everything that Jason does yeah. and and their children her their daughters also bladesmiths so it's kind of interesting right all right we're gonna have to suggest there's an eye in this area Okay, this elephant's slowly coming into focus. <laughs> but it's funny, when, when I first started, they were kind of gathered here. Now, I know that I'm using spike oil, which smells like lavender. So it's it's a non-invasive, well, you know, as far as chemical-wise, it's it's right. benign. And, uh, but that's why I use it, especially if I'm painting live. And uh, they were all kind of gathered around. I don't know if the smell was curious, you know, curious or right. like, what's going on? What's this lady doing? It's just a different scent. Oh, it's, it's kind of interesting to them, I'm sure. They get used to the same stuff all the time, right. you know? Actually, speaking of, I'm going to add some more. I think the others went back in. Oh, they closed the door. They did what? They closed the door and that just open. Oh, I don't know. They probably don't want them inside. Yeah, the others all went inside. Oh. They may be managing them. There's a lot of things that they do that, whether they're actually looking at their feet or... We went to backstage training at the Tampa Zoo. Oh, okay. And that was very interesting. Yeah. Well, hey, it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you. You be sure to tune in on the YouTube so you can hear our conversation, okay? Oh, have a great day. Okay, see, I was working. Yeah, you were. See, lots of fun stuff. All right, now I've got a little bit more um, spike oil now. I'm gonna start filling in this, this elephant. We're gonna start filling him in with a little, there's a lot of darker values in here. So as, as the paint dries, it actually starts to stick better to the to the substrate. So this is kind of beautiful. So we're going back in with some of the green. Do. I have to make this background a little bit more interesting. So I'm letting that first layer of paint sort of dry. And this is actually going by a lot quicker than I anticipated, which is good. It is going to be really hot very fast. And I've got some things I want to do today. Because, you know, DC is like my favorite place to be. 
where I can go see so much art. Now this leg has to come down a little bit. This is correct. And I think it is. And this is the nose level. So these other legs need to come down too. Because everything's pretty level here. We're going to put a little highlight right there. hard to see in my photo reference because the values are really close. The background color and the lake color are very close in value. This is where I have to take artistic license and change it up a little bit. And, um, Okay, so now all of our legs are pretty much at the same level and that's I'm gonna make this bottom part just kind of the, the light sandy color that I see here and so I'm gonna take um believe it or not I'm gonna actually take this Naples yellow and put it down here where came my brush I'm gonna change my brush Let's go with a larger one so I'm going in with a um, this is a number five uh, it's a number six I don't I'm not wearing my glasses a number six evergreen filbert and I'm just going to go in a little intensely with my paint and I'm going to put some shadow underneath this and this is how I'll sign it while it's wet um, and if you give it a so this is the light color and I'm going to create the shadow Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of the purple, it's actually um, ultramarine violet, Michael Harding, ultramarine violet, and a little, a little tiny bit of brown. Uh, you know what, I'm going to take a little bit, yeah, there we go. A little bit of um, ultramarine blue to it. Let's see if looks, oh yeah, that's good. I hear, I'm hearing the elephant blowing out. So this is almost like the dappled light or shadow that's, it's already getting toasty folks. I can tell you, I will get in and get out as fast as I can with this. Like even when I woke up this morning, I purposely did not like wash my hair. I did shower, <laughs> but I was like, I am not even, because I'm gonna sweat, I know it. playing with compliments. These are like the shadows the trees make. And so they're interested in, I think, the grass on the other side of the fence. And they have hay here. I can see them, you know, they're eating their hay. The two ladies, the two cows are in. It's just the bull is out. I'm just kind of suggesting that this is less the shadows, that the trees make, and it's be able to have the purple in with the yellows. Yeah. 
Now this is, you know, pretty soon I'm going to get out my paint scraper and sign this while I can. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of a... I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and just make these the dappled light, and I, that's the fun stuff. Okay, so if you have that, like, you know, suggesting that there's light shining through the trees, I could even go back and put a couple little dab of lights in here. Back with the little Naples yellow. Okay, I like that so far. I'm gonna go get another color because I need some pink, believe it or not, for the ear. Because it's gotta have your so. I had some pad red, but I'm going to go with um, Rose Matter, Genuine Rose Matter, because I really kind of need a pinkier, pinkier color. And I'm going to, well, thinking about it, I've got my, my little brush out too. I'm going to go ahead and sign it down here while it's wet. He's really posing out there. Can you see? I don't know if you can see him. There he is. See him right there. Come back around. There. Okay. So you see, I have this glare happening on my, on my. Uh, I cannot even see my. pull it down so I'm looking down at it. I'm going to take a little bit of this um, I'm going to warm it up with just a little bit of, there we go. It's almost like a flesh tone. I used uh, Rose Matter and Burnt Sienna and Titanium White and I'm going to suggest that the edges of his ears are this color. If you happen to catch caught my last video where I did a John Singer Sargent um, master copy. And what I learned from that was learning how to, you know, drop your paint, you know, put it down, leave it, put it down, leave it. And I'm actually trying to apply some of the same technique with this piece as well. Not to over render, just trying to, to work it and keep it simple. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice folks. So now that just kind of created the little ripples in the ears. So you can tell I've gone down to using a small brush, which means I'm getting closer and closer. Now, 
about who I. I'll try my best to capture as much as I can. So there's a, a light area that's going to fall on the front of his trunk. And his trunk kind of goes down at an angle that I missed. Okay. So I'm going to go in with a really light value right at the edge. And I'm taking a little bit of the Naples yellow and titanium white. I'm really going to try to get this. Yeah. It's going to look a little exas exaggerated here but it'll be okay in a minute. Now, I do want to get the tusk to see. I'm gonna take a little artistic license and drop that, that same light down. blend a lot of that away. So he's got like I'm gonna probably move his eye up a little bit over. Hmm. I kind of missed that. Hang on. is actually down more. And over. We're going to take that right out. So this is where this hump is. And his ear is lower. So his eye is more like here. Okay. Getting closer. Go ahead and put his tusk in. And I can't even see this. Now. Might actually have to move a little bit, get out of the sun. She's not even available right now, so let me let me do that. Let me just move a little bit. I'll just see where my son is. Whoops. Okay, the sun's directly behind me. So what I'm gonna do? Let's do this, y'all. Just move this way. do that and I'm going to move my that's a little bit better. Hmm. A little bit better. Not much better. Still have flare. So we're gonna move you behind. See if I can do this. And yes, I think we're doing it. Okay, I don't know if this is a very good angle for you. This is what happens when you go live, folks. Not too bad. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. <clears throat> oh, it's nicer for me anyway. Hopefully that's working for you too. Okay, I want to put some tusks in here. And tusks are almost never white. I'm taking the king's blue. 
little bit of um, ivory black. And I'm going to start popping that in. I'm going to have to fix that. The other, trunk, the other tooth are back here. So I'm going to take some ivory black. And I've got it way too fat up. So we're going to take a look at the background color that we made. bit more accurate. He's, probably, he's got some nice little tusks there. Which is terrible to think that these animals die because see his tusk a little bit. He's got another tusk back here, but it's in the shadows, and I'm not going to really elaborate that much on that tusk, although he's got one. I'm actually going in with ivory black, trying to Up it's really tough because the values are very, 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 very close. I'd be really um, disappointed in myself with not bringing my sunblock. I wear, I wear sunblock all the time. It's bad when you don't prepare for stuff. to ground the feet a little bit. the little toenails. Okay, 
again, I'm dealing with the close values here. I'm going to cut them in underneath this one. There's some crows chatting away here. Thank you. Nice folks. Oh, it's warm, folks. It's already so warm. I'm gonna raise this little pump up here. Once I feel like I have the facial structures in correctly, then I'll move on to the rest in the background. I'm not going to work very long today, because face it folks, it is not a comfortable to sit in the hot sun. And I meant to bring my big hat, forgot my big hat. It's just where I left it, right on my coat tree in my living room. Just kind of, I'm just suggesting some detail. I'm not really going to get in here and do too much detail. Oh boy. I hear, I hear a child that does not sound happy. Remember those days? Little kids. Kids are all grown. I think it was a good call not washing my hair today, folks. Um, actually, go back to my room, shower before I hit the museums, art stores, all the good stuff that I like to do. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to go ahead and I need to have some. So this little tusk, because I, I need to bring it out more. That is fine. Go ahead and bring. Gonna say, it's so hard to see the glare here. Hello. Hi. 
Oh, she's eating. Yummy. Let's <laughs> put a little bit light for values here on the ear. Yeah, so you can see that there's the ear has actually got this creases in it, and she's he has them. They are that pink color, but I a little bit more of that pink in it. You know, it's interesting. The sun, the paints are drying pretty fast, which is unusual. You now it is oil paint, but when it's this hot, I guess it just dries out. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of an area above his eye. And if I wanted to, I could suggest that he's got a pupil in there. I'll just do it with this. Like an eyeball. I probably just got paint all over my arm. But... <laughs> Elephants have a very interesting, knowledgeable eye, I think. I'll just leave it at that. His feet. There, that's more like it. And a little bit of our sand behind him. It's that warmer, darker color behind his leg. Oops, too warm. Too much burnt sienna. Oops, oops, oops. black on my See, I know, and the tail is like way too. Let's go ahead and make a little bit. This green. And his tail is a lot more thin. Hmm. 
There's some kind of neat bluish dark gray values in here too. And I don't know if it's more of the, the shadow, the same dappled light that's underneath him is actually looks on his body. brush, I think. They used to have, like, shoulder here. Starting to get there, folks. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for thank you. Us look. You can look, and you know where you can go too. You go on my YouTube channel right now. It's being videotaped live for YouTube's. So you can look up Suzanne Barrett Justice, and you'll hear like it, this. You'll get to go back and listen, and your conversation will be on there too, and you'll get to see it. Oh, nice. Yes. No, no, it's fine. That's I. I'm. I love talking to people. Makes it makes my day go by quicker too. It's more. Well, thank you very, 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 very much. when I look at it up close. Now this is basically what I would call a field study or sketch. Um, it's not going to be a completely rendered piece, um, but it's, it's it's enough for me to be able to know what I'm what I got here. Um, so I'm kind of just going in, 
And I'm just kind of using my sergeant stuff that I learned in my video, you know, my last video about just dropping the paint and leaving it. Um, Trying to get that. It's funny, trying to see the lighter value. It's a tough call. Oh, so one of the elephants is splashing off a little bit now. Okay, so she's back out. They like that water, and when it's hot like this, I'm sure they really wish they could. I mean, they did. I watched one get in earlier. I have to work on a little bit of the values on the back. So I'm taking, and I'm going to put some more ultramarine down. There we go, folks. Yeah, that's who I'm painting, and I didn't know I was, I was just calling him the bull. She was in one of the one of the the girls was in earlier. I mean, like co completely submerged. Uh, what if that was Swarna? I don't know the names, but they're she had very pink ears on the edges. Yeah. Yep. Now you know all the elephants so well. Why is tell me why? Just because you like you enjoy the elephants the best. Right now, I enjoy all of them. That's wonderful. It's Rosie and Kamala. Rosie has more of the cartoon character features of elephants, right? Like she's a little more like Dumbo. Okay. Bye, bye. Well, I love that you know their names. Thank you for letting me know it's Spike. So that's who we're painting today. It is a it is a good name. I'm just gonna pop down this. 
Codes. We're gonna be wrapping it up very soon. I'm sure you're probably tired of watching. This is almost as much fun as watching paint dry. This is it's dry time on it. Now my gear's a lot easier on the surface. And I get a little bit better coverage. But I do like being on these panels a lot. I'm still not really happy with the head shape. I'll work on that just a tiny bit. Those nice ladies were able to tell me that this is spike. Spike oil again. I'm going to work on his head structure a little bit more. Oops, that's too much. What I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of this dark color. I think I have from... Ooh, I hear the howling monkeys. They're one of the primates anyway. Okay, that's a little bit more accurate. We're gonna work for me. That's working from the outside. Now let's pull it out. Pay my brush off as well as I can, going in with the smaller. Um, I wanna get this head, this crest is a little bit higher. That's the overall line. Now I gotta fill in all the rest of the color. Oh, there's some really big fun stuff going on with there's a lot of dark in here. I wonder what those monkeys are saying. It's a hoot and a holler. Hey folks, I'm probably going to be wishing I had my son. 
And I'm one of the vain girls, you know. I put it on just, you know, for cosmetic purposes <laughs> all the time. And uh, I uh, never, because I wasn't really worried about my appearance so much today, since I knew I was going to be out in heat sweating. I wasn't thinking about the cosmetic, you know, the fact that I usually keep my sunblock in my, in my, I don't know what I was thinking of that, the fact that I really wasn't thinking at all, but did not bring my sunblock. Darn it. are really active. I love it. I love that sound. It's getting a little thick. The paint's getting a little thick, which makes it really hard to work. I have to keep a really light hand. You may. How are you today? Thank you. Thank you. I see you have a bucket. You must work here. Yes, I'm gonna see if she'll come into the water for me. Oh, they, they've been. I know. Um, one of the females was in the in the water. For like earlier this, yes, this morning, <laughs> um, and it was nice. And this, I just informed that this is t uh, Spike. Yes. And um, yeah, and I'm I'm giving this piece to the zoo. Really? So I've talked to Adrian. Uh -huh. I know that um, Andrew or Drew is out. Yeah. So, um, but I just haven't touched bases with her this morning since I got here. I just wanted to get out before it got too hot. Yeah. You know, get in, get out. Yeah, you'll be able to watch this on YouTube. Oh, sweet. So it's actually it's being videotaped live now. Yeah. So. so I was like, Sorry. No, see your conversation. Well, oh, they're goodness. gonna know we're talking. But uh, it's it's nice. Um, a lot of folks have already tuned in, and we've talked about how nice everybody's been here to to me, and um, a lot of folks have been by. Yeah. I'm so glad uh, you know, you're in touch with staff here because this is your amazing. Oh well, thank so you. Nice. I I hope that they you know. It's, I do work with zoos all over the, yeah. the, the world, um, and I donate the pieces. A lot of times they go to their fundraisers. In yeah. the past, I, I, I did a piece for the Smithsonian Zoo um, of one of the bison, because I, I know the story about the bison. Yeah. And um, that was years ago, back when you had fawns, yeah. still. Yeah, we're still working through some stuff. So. And, um, but anyway, so they really couldn't help me, because I was asking, I said, what species do you want to paint? Most zoos are like, oh. You know, I yeah. know you do a lot of work with the uh, Guam kingfisher and yeah. the snow leopard. So if there's a particular species you really want me to work with, let me know. Yeah. And nobody really told me what they wanted. And I yeah. said, well, I'll just go in and pick what I want. <laughs> um, so hopefully they'll like a painting of Spike. And what they do with it, I had one lady ask me, oh, is this, will they have prints of this available in the gift shop? That's on them. You know, <laughs> you guys don't make prints and have a bail in a gift shop, but I don't know, you know, yeah. what you would do. But it's up, you know, you guys can do whatever you want with this. On the Zeus Facebook page? Or just on um, I'm sorry, I don't know. Zeus Facebook page is yours. Live, like, like, Oh, no, like it's, on YouTube. YouTube. it's on YouTube. Right? It's on YouTube. It's on my page. Okay. It's on my page. So, yeah, so this will. I am going to. You probably said it a dozen times for your video already, but I'm going to ask you. It's Suzanne Barrett Justice, S uh, Suzanne Barrett, B-A-R-R-E-T-T, J-U-S-T-I-S. And this will also be a, a video. 
So if you don't catch it live, obviously, um, but it will, can look it up and see if I can find you can find me and then you can find the other works and the type of stuff that I do. And yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Becky. Becky. I'm yeah. Suzanne. Good to meet you, Becky. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm going to see if Ronnie will get in the pool for me in a second here, so you might hear me yelling in the background. Okay. So well, all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> see ya. See you later. See, the staff has been really nice here. Okay. You're, you're standing a little bit more. Get one of the girls in the one of the elephants in the in the pool here. Okay, I think I'm feeling pretty about this now. Okay, toenails. It's a little darker on the base of the feet. Maybe you want to see Ronnie get in the water. Hang on, if, if I can flip this for you. There she is. And she's getting all kinds of... And she's under. And she's up. She's getting apples down there. Her keeper, Becky, was giving her apples. We were just talking to Becky. Oh, she's going to lie down in the water. Too bad that tree's in the way. And she's making her keeper soaked. Now her keeper is soaked. That's fun. I, I, I saw what they do in the water, so I really wouldn't be wanting to get into that right now, but she's looking like she's having so much fun. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting in, my, in myself. Okay, we're gonna switch it back around. Ah! It is pretty toasty, folks. Um, I don't mind telling you. I've not had enough. Okay. So let's go ahead and wrap this, this guy up. More, a little bit more blue and some of his color. And the spike oil is, you know, it's good to use on Oops, okay, this is not even. I'll grab some of the King's blue. I think that's they need to make it in the water. I prefer to go 
bathroom water. They, they want them to, to do what they have to do in the water. Can you hear all this splashing? Okay. They're having a big old time. To just emphasize some of the stroke here. Make sure we get the coverage. Soften areas that need to be softened. Areas that need to be warmed up. It's very hard to see. start adding some little highlights. So we're not going to work with it too much, guys. We're not ready to wrap it up. Okay. Well, I think I will be done.
Okay, as you can see, it's really hot, um, and uh, we're, we're about ready to wrap it up. The elephants have been having a good time. You can see that she's just she just got out of the bath. I think they named her. I think her name was Ronnie. I'm starting to learn the different elephants' names. Um, it's really warm. I'm not even not even sure what time it is at this point, but um, it's been fun. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, know that you can become one of my members here on YouTube. You can become on my channel. So you, you see a little thing there. Join. Go ahead and join. Become a member and get to be part of this. Um, if you're an artist that's starting out and you need a little bit more direction or mentoring, you can check out. There's a tier there that will help you with that too. And um, so go ahead and join that, and we'll and I can help you improve your paintings as well. So, yeah, from the National Zoo here in Washington, D.C., I want to say thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Now i got to figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> That's always a challenge. Uh,